So, let's start. First thing that I want to talk about is this stuff that you've already covered in public speaking. Remember in public speaking we talked about those three things? Matter, manner and method? It's related to debating. So let's just quickly, I'm not going to spend, we spent a lot of time talking about this when we were doing public speaking, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about it now. But I briefly want to go over it again because it's important. And back in, oh I don't know, 20 something years ago, probably even longer, 30 years ago, when adjudicators adjudicated debating, they adjudicated this. That was it. That's, that was it. It was, it was probably one of the most ridiculous ways to adjudicate a debate. You know what they do? They make this out of 60. You get 20 marks for your matter, 20 marks for your manner, and 20 marks for your method. And then each speaker would be scored on their 20, 20, 20. And then in the end, you know how they decided who won a debate? They added up the marks. And the team that had the highest amount won. Who can see a problem with this though? Who can see a problem? Yep, mine. The arguments may not be, um, the arguments might be yep. really good or really bad, yep. but the way that they presented it was really good. Yes, so there's that as well. And you know what, and, and you're spot on, because you know what used to happen? In really close debates, what a adjudicator would say was if this was even, and this was even, so if their matter was even and their method was uh, even. So what they said was kind of like, oh, well, they didn't out-argue each other. But you know what? And this used to happen. One side was really well-dressed. Like they had ties, they had blazers, they had, we'll give it to them. And that's how some people used to win a debate, because they looked better. Now, while debating is, you know, sometimes about, and you'll notice with, with our uh, Premier's debating teams, when they go and debate, what are they wearing? Ties, tunics, blazers. Why? Because you don't want to look like that you've come off a sports field. And that was a really good thing a few years ago when schools that we were competing against had like a sports sort of uniform and they'd wear those to debating. So our team would walk in wearing blazers and ties and everything and look very professional and the other team looked like they were coming from playing softball or something. So not that it, it ever helped them I suppose win but I tell you what at least when they were debating, they were sitting there at the table in their blazers going, I'm doing something very serious. I'm not out playing, you know, a game of whatever, football or whatever. I'm actually, you know, I'm here to do a job. So they look professional. And we'd often get comments from adjudicators saying, you guys look really good. And that's part about it as well. Because public speaking is, is also about what you look like, not just what you say. But I actually think it's a great thing that we've gone past this, this judging of matter, matter, method. Now it's about weighing up the arguments and about how good your hair is, which is why I get a haircut occasionally. All right, so uh, matter, what's that? Let's just do this really quickly. So when we talk about the matter of a speech, what is it? What are we, what are we talking about? Wow, we do really need to cover this again. Sam, go on. Yes, so the stuff that's in your speech, so the ideas that you have that are in your speech, that's the matter. What about the manner? What's the manner of your speech? Lynn? On how you say Yeah, what you say. So how you say something. All right, so if matter is the stuff that's in your speech, so the information, manner is how you say it, method therefore is, Lauren? Yeah, how you order your stuff. So I start with an introduction, I have a conclusion at the end, I've got my points in the middle. They all kind of go together in a cohesive or a well-ordered sort of way. And that's my speech, that's the three things. The stuff I say, how I say it, and what order it's in. Now, no different from public speaking, is it? Because you guys have done this stuff. You've presented, you've put your points or whatever you're talking about in order, you've thought about how you're saying it. This is where it gets into something else. 